I've done a bit of shopping recently. In this video, I'm going to go through my recent purchases. My name is Alex, and this is my dividend income channel. I'm looking to build on my progress of 2022. I had my biggest ever monthly payment last month, giving me $124.17. Payments like this allow me to pick up more shares, which all helps with future growth. My portfolio has seen some gains this month. It now stands at $33,390.40. Even though it was nice to see the gains, it has a knock-on effect and it is harder to purchase stocks after the bargain prices we have had. I'm going to go through my January dividend stock purchases. As usual, I will go through it in alphabetical order. First up is JP Morgan Exchange Traded Fund Trust, ticker symbol JEPI. I purchased six shares at $54.63 for a total of $327.82. Adding again this month, this now takes my total shares to 46 I am targeting 100 shares, so there's still a way to go. What is obviously attractive is the yield, currently at 11.4%. Dividends are paid monthly. Next dividend is paid on the 3rd of February. Ex dividend date cutoff is the 31st of January. The dividend has not been announced yet, but, but based on the three previous months, it should be around the 60 cent mark. Next up is Johnson & Johnson, ticker symbol JNJ. Purchase one share at 173.40. I've just decided to dollar cost average in. The price doesn't fluctuate a lot. The yield is currently 2.7%. Dividends are paid quarterly in March, June, September and December. The next dividend is for $1.13, paid on 7th of March. X dividend date cut off 17th of February. Next up is Pfizer, take a simple PFE. Purchased eight shares at $48.83 for a total of $3.90.67. I've added 8 shares, this takes my total to 12. Pfizer has seen a drop in price from $54.93 in December to around $45, $46. This has helped bring my average buy price down and I'll continue to buy if it keeps dropping. It has a solid yield of 3.4%. Dividends are paid quarterly in March, June, September and December. Next dividend is for 41 cents, which has just gone up recently, which will be paid on the 3rd of March. Ex dividend date cut off is the 26th of January. Next up is realty income. I continue to add to this. I purchased six shares for 63.85 for a total of 383.14. Anytime it is below $65, I'm more than happy to buy more. I now have 31 shares. The yield is currently 4.7%. Dividends are paid monthly. The next dividend is just over 24 cents, which is paid on 15th of February. X dividend date cut off is the 31st of January. Next up is the Swab ETF, ticker symbol SCHD. I purchased two shares for $76 for a total of 152. This now takes it to eight shares. I'm aiming to get at least two shares a month, which I've been managing to do. The yield is currently 3.5%. Dividends are paid quarterly in March, June, September and December. The next dividend is paid on the 27th of March and the ex dividend net cut off is the 22nd. The dividend uh, payment hasn't been announced yet. Next up is T-Row Price, ticker symbol T-R-O-W. I purchased one share for $109. Finally adding to this again, seems like an absolute bargain now, I wish I'd loaded up more as it's hovering just below 120. The current yield is 4.7%, dividends are paid quarterly. Uh, the next dividend is for $1.20 to be paid on the 30th of March and the ex dividend date cutoff is the 14th of March. After all that, the total January spend is $1,536.03. Now what does my investment provide in terms of dividends? This would give me an average quarterly dividend of $21.81. As both ETFs have not announced their dividends, I've put in a guesstimate. Annually, the total dividend payments would be $87.34. As a percentage of the investment, that would give me a yield of roughly just over 5.68%. But as I've said before, this will fluctuate based on dividends, which are paid by the ETFs. Okay, thanks for watching. My next video will be an update on my dividend payments for January. As usual, if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.